is a Mini Cooper S Roadster, and this is its two minute test drive with a twist. The Mini Roadster is the latest Mini to enter the Mini lineup. Its seats too has a removable soft top that stores in a rear compartment. Its 1.6 liter twin scroll turbocharged engine puts out 181 horsepower at 5500 RPM and it weighs in at just 1245 kilograms which gives it a power to weight ratio of 6.87. It also has this rear spoiler that deploys at 80 kilometers an hour and it provides a useful 70 pounds of downforce. This one is loaded with premium sport and entertainment packages along with some standalone options like the 17 inch wheels. This is the Jonak Motorsport F4i. It's a fuel injected four stroke 125cc shifter cart. It produces 15 horsepower at a staggering 10,500 RPM and it weighs in at just 74 kilograms for a power to weight ratio of 4.9 compared to the Mini which is at 6.87. The problem is to test the cart you need one of these. And with a driver like Justin Wilson, that changes the power to weight ratio to 9.97. So now the advantage goes to the Mini Cooper S Roadster. So let's find out, does the Mini really handle like a shifter car? Count on the handling of the Mini to be able to keep up to these tight twisty sections, and I'm counting on the better power to weight ratio to actually catch it down the straightaway. And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna run him over. I can see he's still right with me. Every now and again, I can see him just in my mirror, so as long as I can hold him up through here. So far, he hasn't come by, so that's good news. So does the Mini Cooper S actually handle like a shifter cart? From where I was sitting, it was pretty darn close. The Mini Cooper S Roadster gets a combined fuel mileage rating of 6.7 liters per 100. That's pretty impressive. But you'll have to trust me on this. If you drive it like it's meant to be driven, you're not going to be close. I'm Russ Bond for the 2-Minute Test Drive.